Now after 24 to 48 hours of rehydrating, you're going to take your scorpion out of your shoe box. He's still wrapped in wet paper towel. We're going to unwrap him and you'll see here he is. Very large specimen. We've taken the plastic off of him and you're going to take him off. You'll put that aside and here what you're going to do is you're going to check to see the legs and the front portion, his pinchers, and we're going to open those. We're going to get them ready to spread. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to check the legs, and they are going to open. You're going to do that one at a time. And then what you're going to do is open up his claws. That will take a bit. And there he is open. You'll do that on the other one as well. And he does open. And he does have inner. Also, what you'll do is you're going to try those. He's here with a pin. And you can even open those. And he'll be ready to go. Once you pin him in and open these up, you'll be able to see it better and work with it. Now the legs, all you're going to do is twist them up just a little bit. Now, don't worry about his pincher, his stinger, because that is no longer poisonous. You're going to put him on a piece of styrofoam. And you are going to start spreading. Now what you'll do is you'll take your number three pin, heavy black, and you're going to pin through him just to hold him there. Now he'll pivot, but what you want to do is you're going to start pinning him just to keep him from pivoting. Pin on either side. Now he can't move much and you're going to start to position the legs and you can do that using pins. Position the leg as you want and you'll continue with all four legs on one side and you can position the legs exactly the way you would like them either farther out in slightly higher up because normally scorpions are going to get into little areas and they go in almost flat so they're not very tall creatures if you will and of course the favorite is going to be the front claws and what you'll do is you can position them after you get them open you're going to position them in whatever angle you'd like to have them in so they're going to be wide open in most and you can just lift those with the pin. And you're going to lift them up because normally that's how they're going to get into their fight stance. You can position them any way you'd like. And they also have some mandibles, smaller, finer, and those are going to be the little fellas right here. And you can spread those as well. Open them up because that's what he eats with. After he takes his food, he's going to eat with those. Let's position this leg a little farther back so that you can see that little mandible right in front. Now, on his lower body, in the back, you can position him up and the tail end with stinger. You can position that any way you'd like. Higher, lower. It's going to depend on the display case that you're going to put him in when he's finished. Because once he dries, he will be permanent that way. Now, after you've pinned your 
right side, you'll continue to do the same on your left, so you'll have all eight legs pinned. And again, you pin him the way you want, let him dry, and after you removed all the pins, then he is ready to go into your case for display, and he is just the coolest thing anybody's ever going to see.